An adventurous Glendale native who's traveled the world returned home recently to accept an honor and share his remarkable story. Tom Haggs travels through diving, tragedy, and rebirth is our Sunday morning spotlight. I believe that most of you uh, are familiar with Tom and his story. You're a busy man. Uh, how are you? On a recent Sunday at the North Shore Library, the fifth of seven children of Jerry and Margot Haig. This fifth child, Tom Haig, is debuting a book about his life, Global Nomad. You are maniacal about travel. <laughs> maniacal, perhaps, no. yet all the time having fun. So Global Nomad is a, it's kind of a three-part book because I've actually lived like three kind of separate lives. <laughs> Part one started right here in Glendale. Uh, someone dared me to do a back dive, and I did the back dive, and I realized I was flopping over on it, and I'm like, I bet I could do a back flip, and I just whipped my legs over, and boom, I did a back flip. And I was like, wow, that's the greatest thing of all time. I just did a back flip. In seventh grade, Jerry Hag is to Tom's dad. Me. And Tom liked the diving so much, he made up his mind in seventh grade, he was going to win the state championship. And that's exactly what Tom did, along with other achievements. I am there under diving 11. At the current Nicolet High School pool, Tom's diving record set more than four decades ago have yet to be broken. We like when Nicolet has the Whitefish Bay pool record. That's the kind of stuff we kind of live for. Live for, and then some. Tom is the most decorated diver in Nicolet High School history. And my name is still there 40 some years later. This is Tom Haig. He is worked on oh. all time. It's embarrassing to have a diver 60 years old to be on the board. Part two of Tom's life included spending the next couple of years doing trick dives in more than 60 countries where he specialized in a dive he invented at a Mifflin Street block party in Madison, hanging upside down from a tree with his brother, Dan Hag. Doing an arm stand way up in the air, about to dive into a rather small pool of water, you are up there on the ladder with him. But I had just invented the Mifflin Street dive. The dive was copied and used by other divers around the world. If you ever wanted to know what it's like to stand on the cliffs of Acapulco and wonder if you're gonna kill yourself, I, I can only recommend the book to you. <laughs> After seven years on the international diving circuit, Tom retired to Portland, Oregon, where the next chapter of his life took a life-changing turn. I got in a pretty horrific bike wreck and I crashed my bike against a truck, and I realized right away I was a paraplegic. There's a middle part of the book where I go in depth about what it's like to lose what gave you joy, and I lost it all. It was very hard to recover from that. Great deficiency in terms of rehabilitation medicine. Help from his older brother, Dr. Andy Hag, was a major part of his rehabilitation. So he's a global expert in spinal cord injury. Eventually, I do get much better. I can't even say right now I've completely recovered. But he came up with different things to do, like doing uh, wheelchair marathons. 20 marathons, including winning the Portland Marathon hey. twice. I'm in the uh, Savoy Art Town of Bordeaux. From hand bikes to handy sports skiing. He became very good at all sports because of the discipline of working hard. Of the Ghana Society for the Physically Disabled. One team he helped start with his brother Andy is the International Rehabilitation Forum. The International Rehabilitation Forum has come to Accra, Ghana. It's an opportunity to both speak and write about disability issues. I would pick up from Portland, move over there, and spend several months with uh, the disability communities. My name is Tom. All came to a crashing halt with COVID when, when I had to get evac out of Dakar on the U.S. Embassy flight. Oh my God. From that embassy flight and fast forward to one very special night back at Nicolet High School. Help celebrate our three athletes uh, tonight. On January 6th, Tom was inducted into the Nicolet High School Athletic Hall of Fame. He learned about the honor from teammate and friend Hans Landwehr. Guess what? You made it into the Nicolet Hall of Fame. And he's just like, no effing way. <laughs> Humble as ever, Tom didn't talk about himself, but rather his gratitude for the honor. So thank you for inviting me to your party. 2022-23 Nicolet Athletic Hall of Fame class. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
How do you celebrate a milestone like this? Well, for Tom and his friends, it was playing a free concert. Years after we got out of Nicolay, we stopped swimming and we started playing music. It was another opportunity to promote his book. It is called Global Nomad. It's like the genesis of this book is the journals he wrote while he was diving and traveling in Europe back in the 80s. Can I give you a little I'll take it. To see a successful person get wrecked up seriously and become successful again. Not many people could do that. You were the one who actually kept pushing me to get this damn thing published. Like, Congrats on the book. Thanks I can't so wait much. to read the story. An inspiring story of triumph. Thank you so much. Really nice meeting you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And overcoming adversity with determination and humility. Now I'm, a, you know, for this chapter or whatever, I'm at the finish line. And it is not as crazy as the journey. So I'm terribly humbling about the whole thing. Yeah.